So today I'm going to be showing you how to get a marble nail effect. I This is, I think, the second time trying to film and upload this. I tried using my regular digital camera, but it was really hard because I can't find where my tripod went. Um, I share one with my brother, so I think he might have it. But So yeah, this video is just going to show you how to get an effect like this. You need our room temperature water. You can use bottled water or you can put water in a cup and leave it out overnight. You need some kind of bowl or surface, so I'm just using a... So, uh, Chinese food Tupperware cabinet, cabinet, ooh, container, and then you just need any nail color, nail polishes, I'm using four polishes, um, I'm using a hot pink by OPI Fold, that's hot pink, I'm using Lacy Lilac by Sally Hansen, Baby Blue by OPI, and Pacific by Sally. Um, what you want to do is you want to pre-paint your nails a base coat, I'm just using a white, white pink, a nude, I don't know, I just had white laying around, so I used white. Um, so like, like you can see on these hand, these fingers, I started, but um, I was originally doing a different color palette, but I didn't like it, so I just redid it. So I want to get right into the video. So in my Tupperware, I already have it pre-filled. You don't have to fill it to the top. I just have it half-filled. So what you want to do is you want to open up all the nail polish caps. Make sure they're, right, you want to make sure they're all open for easy access and you have your toothpicks ready. Oh, also tape. I forgot to mention you do need tape. You can use um, Vaseline or moisturizer, but I think tape is better. So what you want to do is you want to take a piece of tape and you want to tape where your cuticle line is on the bottom, just, just like that. Then you want to take another piece of tape and put it right on the side. This is just so it saves you a mat, um, clean up time because you're going to get really messy. Your nail polish is going to get everywhere. So just three pieces will do. So it kind of looks like this. There we go. So you want to go ahead and do that to all of your fingers. One at the baseline of your cuticle. And two on the sides and just connect it in the back. Once you start getting some tape on your fingers, you kind of lose all able ability to use your fingers. So, sorry for that one. So one Work by my cuticle. Two on the side. Now you can do this one at a time. You can do it all. All the nails taped at the same exact time. It's just preference. So now I have all five fingers taped, and it's really hard to move. So you can just kind of see and write and scrunch together. Now this is like I said, it's going to save you cleanup time because you are going to get very messy. Um, okay, so now back to this. You just want to take your colors and you want to make sure you have a lot on the brush and just dip it into the water. I actually have some scum left in here, so I just want to clean that up. And that's the idea of what we're going to be doing. You just want to clean up with the toothpicks. That's what they're for. Okay, so I'm going to start with my hot pink. So I make sure you have a lot. You just want to dip it in. And as you can see, the colors will expand, which is good. So, just take another color, dip. The quicker you do this, the better it is, because it will kind of dry a little bit in here, and you don't want that. You can do this as many times as you please. There's no correct way or no wrong way of doing this. It just all depends on your preference. I'm going to do a drop of purple. And then I'm going to take my toothpick and just swirl. Just make kind of designs like that. Bring that in. And then you're going to take your finger, I'm going to start with my thumb, and just dip it in. Just like that. 
And this is another reason why you do need the tape because you are submerging your whole entire finger into the water that has nail polish in it and it's going to get very messy. So, what you can do is pull your nail out right away, but I suggest, suggest you don't because you are going to be dragging that color on with you because it becomes kind of like a glue that's attached to your finger, which is also another reason why we have already painted our nails white because it will cling right onto the polish. Otherwise, if you have your nails not painted, I don't think it will cling as well. You can also try clear, I'm not sure. So you're just gonna take your Q-tip, Q-tip toothpick, this is like the fifth time I've done that, and just swirl. Just swirl the colors off. Then you wanna pull your finger out and you will have that. If you can tell, my finger is covered in the excess nail polish, which is a reason why we have the tape. So that's what that looks like. Now let's start again. This time I think I'm gonna start with my dark blue. Just kind of dip it in. And then I think I'm gonna go with a my light blue. My purple. Let's do another drop of purple. There we go. And then some pink. I'm going to go back to my dark blue, light blue, and then my pink, there we go. And then you're going to take a different toothpick this time and just swirl it up. Oops. Oh no. Just submerge your finger and then take a toothpick. I'm going to use one that already has some polish on it because it's easier to just pick it up that way. And just kind of swirl it around, cleaning up all the excess polish. And then once you're 100% sure you have all the polish, picked up, you're going to lift up your finger and you're going to have a dripping finger and it looks like that. Now each finger is going to look different and some of them are going to look really weird, some of them are going to look really good, it's all depends on your preference. So I went ahead and I finished all the nails and this is the comb. This is my right hand, this is the hand that I during a tutorial. So I went ahead and did that. As you can see, none of the nails look alike, which is really, really cool. I like that. My other hand. 